Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends Out of Wind Waker HD. It's now time to go to the last statue, assuming that there's another statue, to deliver the last pearl. And then we'll see where we go from there. Also, I'm going to quickly get another... Wait, did I get the fish for this island already? Hang on, I need to check the map. I'm assuming. Yeah, I did get this. Okay. Cool. Works for me. Let's be on our way. We've got a few more islands on our map since we started sailing around a little bit more. We can also see um, circles on the maps that we've actually got the, the treasure for. Each block of the map has its own treasure chart, so it's good to see the circles on them because that means we know that they're done. At least for the true chart, so we know which ones we haven't got treasure from yet. I'm kind of tempted to look at a few lookouts, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Pretty much all. Oh, I mean, I've played this game before, obviously in regular version, but also. I know it better in randomized form, so that's probably not a good thing. <laughs> but maybe it is. I need to figure out where everything is, since I don't know for sure. Oh my goodness, Cyclone. Just as you sailing around, just Cyclone. Need to avoid that. No, no, don't get pulled in. No, I'm so close to this island. Foolish creature who does not fear the gods. To the end of the sea with you. Let the winds of Cyclos wrath blow you away. Uh, can I? No, I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I'm gone. And the reason you want to avoid the cyclones is because they warp you to a random spot on the world. Where am I? Link, are you alright? It would seem that the wind god Cyclos bears some ill will towards toward humans. As you go forward, it would be wise to not try not to get sucked up by any cyclones you see upon the seas. Isn't that just a normal thing that you should know? Why do you need to explain this to me? Why do you need to force this a horrible thing upon me. Ah, but if only we could find a way to harness the power of the, those cyclones, it might be possible for us to travel across the ocean instantaneously. You do not yet have an item that can pierce distant targets. If you did, you might be able to obtain such power. Keep that in mind. Oh my goodness. We're at Great Fish Isle. <laughs> Why? I guess it's not that far away from where I need to be. Do I have the map for this island? No, I don't. I guess I can get that while I'm here. I just have to sail so much more than I was. I was at the island for the last pearl. I was there. I could touch it. Not really, but anyway. There's also a withered tree on top of that bit of the island there. Where's the fish here? Things I never thought I'd have to ask. But where is the fish here? Also, while we're here, I want to point out that the stone thing that I mentioned, I'm pretty sure I already said this, but it actually is the same as the one on... Oh my goodness, he's over that way. On the back of Outset that we had to destroy. That stone thing there. So that's cool. I'm going so slow because I don't want to change the wind because that seems like a lot of work and I don't want to. I should, but I just, I'm lazy. Oh, I'm going to do it. It's too far away. It looks too far away. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Is that the wrong way? Did I just mess everything else up for me? It's fine. I can use it slightly. Directions are very easy to confuse me in this game, apparently. But anyway, let's get this trip map chart, sea chart upgrade thing. And get the map for this island. Oi, small fry. There we 
we go. You should come around to these parts on nights when just a wee bit of the left half of the moon is missing. That's when it appears, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Cool, so the... The ghost ship comes past here when there's a little bit of the moon visible. A very little bit. Ah, uh, but anyway. I need to go... to about there. I think. So let's go... that way. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I wish I could just... I wish I could just turn off the zoom instantly with a press of a button. Easy said than done, apparently. But anyway... I just realized something else that I could be doing right now. Which I don't think I want to do right now, but I could do it. But I, I, I think it's better off waiting until much later to do that. That's a lot of sea hats. Because there's some backtracking stuff that we could do. Which just seems like a lot of work. But it, yeah, I'll have to do it at some point. Now's not the time though. Being, a, being able to get around the sea quicker would be helpful though. For doing that. That's pretty much the whole thing. With uh, doing side quests as well. Is I want to probably be able to get around faster before doing them. As a main thing. I just need to avoid a cyclone this time. Getting to the island. <laughs> because I was at the island and then it forced me away. Why is it stormy on all of a sudden? Please no cyclone. Is that the island I'm going towards? Yes, apparently. Maybe that's why. Wait, is it? Oh, a cyclone. <laughs> Scary. Need to avoid that. I'm assuming that's Windfall over there. Okay, there's the island. It's just merging with... Uh, dragon roost behind it. Oh, so those guys are here. Let me talk to them. Just to double check that they're not actually gonna give me a second sea chart for this island. Nope, don't do that. Please don't sail right into the thing. Oh, scary. Please, let me talk to you and not sail away. Why? Why is the sail button the same as the talk button? Why is everything? Stop. Target. Speak. Cool. Yeah, bub. You collecting treasure, bub? To see where you can find treasure, open your map on the island charts on the right. The treasure charts on the left. It should be easy to figure out. Grappling hook. Patience. Really not that hard. So that's how it works. Okay, they don't. Cool. But it was worth checking. Also, I'm going to get the fish before the statue. Ah, shark. And also, cyclone. Why is there a cyclone right there? Questions that I have. Hoy, small fry. Northern Triangle Island. Let me tell you something, small fry. The school on that Windfall Island has one gorgeous teacher. But the thing is, this gang of four little hoodlums is always ca causing trouble for her. Those little delinquents like to cause all sorts of trouble. They go climbing trees and hiding behind buildings instead of going to school. What a bunch of savages. 
Somebody's got to scold those scoundrels and set them straight for the sake of that poor teacher. You hear me, Fry? That's all the info I've got to offer. Cool. Let's get this statue. I think I'm probably best cruising up over here and avoiding that cyclone. I will never get over that. <laughs> I would never get over the fact that that cyclone just pulled me in and threw me away from the statue. Oh, hey, there's a sign. To reach Eastern Fairy Island, head east from here. I can see the Fairy Island, and I've already been there, but anyway. I guess there's a few signs like that. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses. Place the pearl you hold here. You place Din's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Now what? This tower, which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. Only one who is able to overcome the trials that await there will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only then will that hero be permitted to wield the power that to destroy the great evil. Link, that is, that which you must obtain, now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over the many hardships you have faced. And you must triumph once again. You must rise above the trials of the gods. So yeah, we now have this here. This entire... Tower. Just absolutely massive. And this is actually an island that was not here before. So it would be good to actually get the the map for here. But also in that cutscene you should recognize the Triforce being put there by the the statues of the goddesses. Because we saw that Tetra had a picture of the Triforce over the Great Sea in her cabin. Which means Tetra kind of knew something about this I guess. Also is there, I'm pretty sure there's a fish around here somewhere that I can get. Okay, just part of the moon available, or visible. Maybe it's inside the thing? Maybe? Oh no, it's over there. How did I miss that? I don't know. Or so I'm sailing completely away from the wind, so I'm gonna change that quickly. Also, it's quite impressive that the statue blew us up and sent us all the way over here. Which is why I wanted to get the, the map for that island first. 
I think you can do them in any order, which means that the last one that you get will send you to the Tower of the Gods. Which is that, that's what this place is called. Spoiler alert. Um, where is fish? There. There is fish. We're also going to get the name of the island anyway from the fish over here, so... Is spoiler anyway? I don't think he's going to talk about the island though. Hoi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I'll... Yeah, actually no, he probably will talk about the island. He probably can't get this fish until this point. Is probably what happens. Since otherwise there wouldn't be any island to mark down. Also, that's not quite inside of the box, but alright. I've done a fish fortune on on you, small fry. From what I can tell, it looks like you've you're fated to come to this place many times. And the keys that control that fate are none other than the lucky items known as the triumph folk forks. Yeah, <laughs> they're some sort of magical utensils. If you want to learn more about the triumph forks, talk to that guy Tingle. That's what. Ah, uh, the tort f fish fortune told me. Now I know I may be a fish, but my fortune telling is uncanny, cannily accurate. You'd better believe it, small fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Cool. Well, anyway, let's head in. I'm just gonna change the wind quickly so I can get there faster. Also, I think the time of day wasn't the best time to watch it, that cutscene of the the statues. But, but it was really cool <laughs> with the sunset and the Din's Pearl glowing into it, basically. Well, let's head in. Tower of the Gods. Which is another dungeon. So, we can't sail in here, but we can cruise, which is what we need to do, so. Let's try to look around, I guess. I don't know where all the secrets are, but I might be able to find a good good, good amount of stuff in here. The water level in here rises and falls, so we can actually do different things, depending on that. Oh, and there's a yellow chew, which is electrified. Kind of similar to the blue ones that we've seen already. Um, but also... Not that bad, I guess. Get up on the platform, please. No, get up there, get up there, get up there, please. Okay, let's... Get out bombs. It's interesting that the map shows us how many levels there are to the dungeon. Even though we haven't got the map or the compass yet. But anyway, let's pull up this wall here. Carefully. So we can get this treasure. I don't know what else is in here though. The dungeon map, okay cool. I wasn't actually expecting that to be there. But I guess I don't know that much about in here anyway, so. Let's see what's on this side. There's also just a wall there that is bombable. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that. I guess if I move the blocks around on the ground, probably probably a good plan. Let's just grab with A. I'm so confused with that because in the GameCube version, I think right button. Oh please. There are so many of these guys here. Ah and if you stab stab them when they're electrified, it hurt. Ah, too too late. This one's gonna not work because I'm going right down. Please, don't blow up the box. No. Also, I think the yellow ones don't have a special jelly. I think they just drop different items like green or red. Maybe something else. But anyway, I need this to go up, which is a shame because I need the water level to be on my side here. Which it doesn't really work like that. Why is the camera changed when I'm in here? That's weird. But interesting to... Keep in mind, I guess. 
Now then, let's move this over this way. There's actually a drain there, which shows why the water level is actually rising and falling, I guess. I don't know about that, but anyway. It's Zelda logic. And you can't argue with that. Okay, let's blow this up, possibly with myself. Somehow not breaking the box. Oh, hello. How did I get you without stunning you? That's interesting. Hey, free joy pendant in that pot. I guess that's all that was there. Actually, there's another thing up here. I don't know how I missed that. Just more pots, I guess, but maybe something useful? I don't think there's anything else. Okay, bombs and a heart. So I guess that was just refills for opening up the rest of the secrets. So that should be everything in this room. I guess once we get the compass, it'll be easier to get all the secrets, but still. Let's go out. <laughs> There's water still in here. It's fine. Okay, let's sail over this way, I think. Probably? Probably. Okay, let's get out. Now let's head up here. Some more pots and also some statues. Ah, uh, but there's also this switch on the ground here that we need to, if we stand on, opens the door. But if we step off of it, it closes again. So let's pick up the statue here and put it... Ah, wrong button. Put it next to... on that switch, just like the other one over there, I guess. Kind of thing. It would make more sense if they had one... had the other one on top of another switch. And showing that it was actually activated. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I guess it's not that hard to figure out otherwise. Die. Um, okay. I guess I can just... Oh, hello. Let me put that on that. Making a magical rainbow bridge. But I guess that will only activate when the block is on top of the switch. Which means that when the water rises, it's just going to disappear. But that's a cool idea of to create a, a timed bridge. Zelda Maker? Zelda Maker? Come on. Think about it. Zelda Maker. I don't think we're going to get a Zelda Maker, but that would be cool. To have switches like that. Anyway, we can pick up this statue pedestal thing. I don't know. And it reacts with the door, so it's making the door glow. Which I guess is showing us where to go, because we can take it out this way. And we can plop it in this little spot here. To activate a gate to another dimension. Also known as just another part of the dungeon, so. Also, this switch is just activated now. That's interesting. I guess once you go through the door, it just stays open. Now, uh, there's also a few other things in the, in the dungeon I want to check out, but I guess I should probably go this way first. Probably? I hope so. Because there's the other side of the dungeon that we can actually go to. But uh, that might just be an optional side, possibly. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Up, up, up. Okay. I thought the water was... I thought the water was closer to going down than it actually was, but anyway. Let's just put these onto these. Almost, not quite. Almost, not quite. Perfect. <laughs> First try. Other times of practice. Maybe this is optional, I don't know. But what I do know is that I need to light this and get this across somehow. And I think... No. Maybe I can throw it, but also I need to do it better than that. Oh boy. I also have to probably just get across there at some point. By moving the blocks. To use them as platformers. I feel like I can do this without... Being absolutely insane though. I'm gonna try. Oh my goodness, why did you have to run out then? Of course you did. Though. Because I was trying to relight it after the water level had gone down, but still. Because these can only stay lit for a certain amount of time. But I'm going to save a lot of time, probably. If I can actually just throw it across and then just go across manually myself. Separately from the stick. Okay, let's go... Okay, climb up on the box, and then jump across. There we go. That's going to save a lot of time because it means we're not actually doing the puzzle 
for the room. Because you're supposed to move the blocks and so you can just have a a, a, a clear path across. There will still be gaps, but you can you can still jump across between them. Small keys, that was actually in, in required, so. I think it's also possibly choose if you drop down, yeah. So you probably want to avoid dropping down. So thro throwing the thing across is actually extremely helpful. Now, I don't know if there's anything else in this room, but I, I would assume that that's everything. Let's move on. I'm so glad that I managed to do that so fast. Let's head on to the other side of the dungeon then, since we have a small key now. Well, so what happens if I sail right into that water right there? Well, what's the... Okay, that's, a, that's the thing. Okay, I can't sail into that. But what I can do is press the right thing on the D-pad and the right thing on the D-pad. Actually, I think... Oh, I have to press A to fire. That's right. But anyway, we can blow up these things there, which allow us to get across. But we can't take our boat across. We have to actually get out of the boat. So... It's, it's a little bit weird, but anyway. I guess I couldn't make it that easy. Just jump across. Hello, Electric Chew. I'm just gonna be over here. Please don't attack me. Since you can float on the surface and I can't. Not while actually doing stuff. There we go. Also, this door is locked. Good thing we got a small key. Let's head in there. And let's... Oh my goodness. Let's oh my goodness. Go up here? Actually, I think I need to take out all these shoes. Is what I need to do. Or possibly do something else before I can actually get get this, maybe? I don't know. I haven't played this game enough to actually know what I'm doing. Ah! Why did the boomerang not throw? There we go. That should open up the thing now. The magical rainbow stairs. And the water level's going up and down, so we need to be careful of that because we can't carry stuff when we're on the surface of the water. But I think we can still throw it in there and it'll still be under the water, so... Which is probably a good thing because we don't want it... want to have to re-go back, back every time the water gets us, but still. We have this pedestal thing, which is pink instead of the previous blue one. Let's just put that into there. And that stops the water going through there and puts it through the other two sides. Giving us a way forward. But we still have other stuff to do before we do that. So let's go into this room. Oh my goodness. Backtracking is going to be fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Also this fire bubble. That's what it's called, I'm pretty sure. Or just bubble. I'm pretty sure they're called bubbles. The flying skeleton skulls. Those, that's the one. But anyway, let's get this treasure, which is probably the compass. Yep. You can now see where things are hidden in the dungeon. Like this room, where there's a thing that we can't get right now. We can also see where the King of Red Lions is. That's interesting. Because that doesn't happen otherwise. Uh, we've got all the other treasure chests in this on this floor, except for the other one right there. So let's get that one. Now we need stick. So let's grab stick. Grab stick. I got stick. And fire. And I think I'm going to run out of time before I can actually get down there. Yep. Uh, am I still carrying the stick? No, I dropped it. Okay. Makes sense. Really? And three, two, one. Nope. Come on, water. There we go. Let's take that. And let's light up these down here. And that makes a chest appear. I love the way that they make those chests appear. It looks so cool. Don't need to worry about the fires going out. Just need to grab this chest and we'll be good. A joy pendant. Cool. How many of those do we have now? Just for reference sake. Uh, spoils bag. 17. It's pretty good. We've also got 29 green chew jellies. Wow. That's a lot. 
I don't even think we need that many. Oh no, water, come back. No. Why did you go away? I can't get across my boat. Can't get back to the King of Red Lions when the water's down. Hello. Just floating in the water here. Don't mind me. Anyway. Oh no, the water's gonna go down again before I can get to the door. Please, no, please. Please spare me. Please, please, no! Why? It's perfectly timed. It's perfectly timed in the worst possible way. Okay, there we go. Let's get up here. And go through here. Oh my goodness. This is a room. Just get rid of these rats to start off, probably. I think that's all of them, probably. Hopefully. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.